right, since since uh, I'm, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, it was kicking me off. Uh, I'm gonna just put it like this way. Like I told y'all, I like meat. Uh, I like Ellis, you know what I mean? So we can have these discussions. But the one thing I won't do, and I, I won't continue to do it, is I won't let y'all get off the hook no more, bro. First and foremost, and this is not being arrogant, this is being real. Ellis, you a young cat. A lot of y'all are younger dudes that who come around, and some of the older dudes, they wasn't there. I'm just gonna put it that way. So yeah, we gonna start getting a little bit more aggressive about the name American Bully. That's why you seeing more people speak out on it. It's because a new generation of breeders, y'all don't get to decide what the breed is. If people want to make, if you want to make your own breed, feel free. You know. Uh, it's a serious beef going on between a lot of the OGs and Dave internally. And we'll argue with Dave because he fucked over the breed and, and allowed a lot of bullshit. And this is why he's not allowed to travel certain places right now. But if you, but like for real, if, if you don't really have a, a, a true stake in this shit, it, you, you have to understand how it comes off as crazy to us that y'all are literally going to come in and tell us what the breed is. And then this particular thing because y'all don't know what it is you know with like with um you know to put up a picture of king kamali that he he didn't look like himself probably young or whatever but talk about they didn't need it. oh these dogs did okay bro put up real pictures of kamali that's where i say you being just disingenuous because like y'all always say you can always find a bad picture of a dog here or there we all agree on that but if you're gonna try to shit on king kamali at least make it real because we know what king kamali was everybody in this community know that that was a badass dog well put together <laughs> hanging with muscle in his prime very good confirmation dog move move flawlessly that's why he was what he was you know what i mean stop it because what it looks like is that y'all grabbing for straws and this is what i mean ellis i'll explain this to you and me meat's argument on this live was well not argument but oh remy was remy was hot okay touche you're right remy was hot remy didn't like other dogs considering it's supposed to be a, a breed from pit bulls that's normal that's 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 this thing that you have to breed out if you had the ability to breed it out, you know what I mean? That, that, that's dogs. The thing that's unacceptable, just like with pit bulls, the dog can't be man aggressive. So as long as the dog is not man aggressive, we solid. We can handle the other shit. But to say that, but then we're not gonna bring up the fact of all these dogs pissing and shitting on themselves, acting scary, you know, horrible temperament, the dogs now that are attacking people and all of that, that's the new era. My era, yeah, dogs, you had a few that were people aggressive, but now y'all have dogs that are curves, scared as fuck, lunging at people, attacking people and all of that. So I think that argument is pretty bad. More so though, the argument that y'all keep staying away from, and, and this is where me and Ellis butt heads that a lot with this new school versus old school, all that dumb shit is this ain't no new school versus old school don't nobody got the right to just change the breed whenever they want to and the saddest thing about the american bully is is that it has changed every year they keep on changing it they keep on trying to change it those of us who actually put in work and made the breed and everything else outside of dave and uh coop over there we disagree that's why you see so many factions that pulled away from them because we totally disagree on what's going on but now we have a new set of breeders guys who've been in this a decade or less and now they want to tell us what the american bully is supposed to be but i'm gonna tell this to the new school new age super breeders that y'all believe that y'all are and that y'all have so much knowledge if y'all got so much knowledge why are y'all dogs so much more unhealthy than ours so much more unstable we ain't never had to use no ice packs. We didn't ever have dogs dying from breedings. We didn't never have dogs that were just dying on the spot every which way. Y'all y'all are creating a myth because out of all y'all super dogs in the last few years, I've noticed that they don't, they don't stay around. Like I brought up before, 
and I bring up your biggest kennels where y'all talk about, you know, oh, this person is selling studs for $50,000. He got a million dogs. They doing breedings left and right every day. Where's the fucking dogs? Dax had 5,000 puppies. Where are the dogs? Muscle Tone is putting out dogs left and right. This is it. Where are the dogs? Now, it's either one or two things in this conversation. Because I'm not going to keep on debating about with y'all about the look. The look is what the look is supposed to be. Confirmation is supposed to be a must. Y'all keep ignoring confirmation issues. But we can find fucked up pictures all day. We can distort pictures all day. Ellis, I want you to get in a conversation about health. Because ain't nobody ever going to agree on this look. I know y'all y'all determined to put some bulldog in the dog. Health. I noticed that when what's his name, Cash died, y'all didn't make a big deal about that. That wasn't no big deal. It was a dog that y'all was willing to do, use and from a blood that y'all wanted to use. But nobody was talking about that. Nobody is talking about how dogs like Colossus have a lot of dead offspring at a, at a young age. Nobody is talking about the fact that we really don't see a lot of muscle tone dogs, even though it's, it's said that they're produced a lot, which I believe they are produced a lot. But the one thing we know is that they sort of die early. A lot of these other dogs that's known for dying early, for some reason, y'all never want to talk about that. The fact that we're seeing that dog shows that dogs are having trouble breathing. The fact that we're seeing these dogs that have movement that look like they put together with Legos now and they just clump, lumbering around the ring. Bad feet, bad shoulders, bad hips, super long backs. But yeah, they're bully, right? This is the real conversation. If you can't, if, if we can't have a conversation of health and what's being done to these dogs to destroy them, stop talking about the wild factor because the wild factor is like a unicorn. Y'all slap that on whatever and it's based off of opinion. But health and structure is factual. That's why I like that conversation. That's why that conversation means so much to me. Because we can talk about health and confirmation all day long. And it's all factual. The heart murmurs. Judges out here, which was brought up. Pushing dogs that got, you know what I'm saying, level three heart murmurs. Muscle tone dogs all be having heart murmurs. Certain breeders pushing dogs that can't breathe, elongated palates, closed nares, the high rears that y'all see. And then y'all believe that if you keep on putting this in your gene pool, that it'll change and y'all will do something better and it'll, it'll all work out in the end, bro. It's not going to work out in the end. The American bully as we've known it, and I can post a million pictures of great American bullies, y'all destroying that shit. And I ain't saying you specifically Ellis or me y'all good dudes I know what y'all be trying to do but y'all off base the reason why I'm no nonsense in this is because I've been around from the beginning and I've seen what the mentality that a lot of people are carrying has done to this breed we went from dogs that could routinely live well past a dozen years to dogs that can't live we went past we went from dogs that can stand the elements be out in the sun be in cold weather they move good they live in good lives to dogs that need all kind of special uh, attention just to survive and then the theory that you're going to take our good dogs and mix them with the bad dogs and somehow make a superior dog no you're just fucking up good genetics when you should be trying to selectively breed and pull the best out of the good dogs to continue making better dogs size was not a problem Pokemon showed you that. Thing was 100 pounds back in the day. Hell, 21 Blackjack weighed in at 106. You could refine the look and keep the and keep the true characteristics of the dog and make a better dog. You don't have to add any bad genetics. For you to call yourself a breeder on any level and be willing to add heart murmurs, to be willing to add any, any genetic flaw that would hurt the dog's existence, you're not a breeder. That's just facts. You're not a breeder. You shouldn't be allowed to breed. You shouldn't even be allowed to have a fucking dog. If it, if it doesn't make sense to you to not add genetics to a dog that would kill the dog, that would break the dog down and all these different things, then um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I can't, all I can do, I'm not here to debate y'all. And, and yes, it's going to sound like I'm uh, uh, on some superiority complex. I am. 
I'm talking to people behind the scenes that I feel like understand this. A couple of the dudes who helped write the standard. A couple of the dudes who understood the breed from the beginning. A couple of the dudes who spent big money. A couple, uh, the dude who named the American bully. You know, the, the dudes who, who who really put in work over the last 20 years. I'm, I'm getting with them, and, and you know, the ones who haven't sold out, and. We, we discussing things on to try to preserve this breed. To us, it's not a popularity contest. This is a big part of our life's work where we try to make this breed survive and take it serious. Y'all don't take this shit seriously. This is a popularity contest to y'all. And just like everything now, y'all come with opinions instead of facts. I never hear y'all have one discussion of health and that is alarming and that shows what's wrong with the generation and it shows what's wrong with the breed. Y'all never attack the dogs that have health issues, obvious health issues. Y'all stay very silent. That shows me that we don't have a real discussion because y'all are a part of the popularity contest, but y'all try to y'all try to uh, cover it up by acting as if you really care about the dogs all of this much. No, you just want to you just want to make oh look how big he is, bro. Look how bully he is, bro. The greatest extreme breeder of all time is Bashar. And y'all seen his best dogs break down in front of your eyes. They had to get rid of Casablanca because he broke down that bad. That's why y'all never seen him at the end of his life. They had to take beans off the steroids and get him some help. Bro, these dogs are not made to live. Literally, when they having their stack calls. Okay, we're going to have to take the dogs inside. They might die. They might die. One of the biggest dogs of last year. Y'all know it. Y'all know what happened to him. He died laying in the bed, man. Laying in the bed with a kid, but that don't matter to y'all. Y'all still pumping hype, and we should use these same bloods that keep on dying on everybody and keep on destroying everything. Like I told y'all, I'm a mathematics guy, and if and, and, and you got puppy mill type breeders that's doing all these extreme breedings, but you notice the registry sold out because they wanted to be extreme because paperwork was coming in. But if you notice, these dogs don't show up at shows. You notice that the, the show scene has gotten very 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 thin you know why because the dogs don't last and a lot of the dogs can't come out this is facts this is facts bro these dudes can't even turn the volume up on a video of their dogs because they don't want you, they don't want you to hear how the dog is breathing i'm just giving y'all real facts y'all can hate me all y'all want to it is what it is, man. Y'all can hate what I say all y'all want to. Y'all can call it this, that, and the other. Dog, y'all did that. Y'all promoting unhealthy dogs. It's just that simple. This is the reason why it ain't no 10-year-old extreme dogs. Closest thing to that is Magoo. And now a lot of y'all say Magoo what it really wasn't that extreme. <laughs> ain't that funny. Man. We'll talk about it on the live. Maybe I'll be able to go live when I get a good signal, man. Until next time, much love. Peace.